welcome to the Patreon exclusive edition of Black, White, Red All Over. I'm the hardest working man in comics, Victor Dandridge. <laughs> and I'm Ryan. And I know a lot about balloons. <laughs> More than you ever thought you would need to know. Um, <laughs> we're going to spoil for Marvel Comics Absolute Carnage number one, uh, Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman, um, and a whole lot of red ink. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, all right, so. Uh, I mean, wow. You know, when chapter one is called The Bleeding King. Right. I was just like, go on. Yeah. You kind of get a taste of what's coming here. Um, all right. So things have been building up. Yes. In previous, you know, lead up into's and the Venom series, all these things. Okay. So where are we at check mark wise? Um, Eddie Brock is reunited with his symbiote. Yep. They have a tenuous relationship right now. Can yeah. we say that? One, one might put it that way. That's my, because he, he found out that the symbiote was kind of stoking some things to yeah. keep him going, yeah. which is so messed kind of messed up. Yeah. Man. Like he's like, oh, that cancer? Yes, 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 yes. Let's do this. Um, we also find out that Eddie's got a kid mm -hmm. who doesn't know that he's Eddie's kid. Thinks that Eddie is his older brother. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah, that's just yeah bad. Um, in the meantime, Cletus Cassidy has returned through some ungodly means. Yeah. Um, so all of those one shots that were like. Web of Venom, blah, 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 and you weren't picking up because you're like, oh, I don't want the I don't one need shots. It. You need it. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you absolutely needed it. Because uh, what you find out is that uh, Cassidy is seeking out former symbiote wearers mm -hmm. and is needing to garner, gather as much symbiote content as possible yep. so that they can rebuild this thing called the Codex. Yeah. Now, obviously, if you watch Man of Steel, you know the Codex deals with DNA. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Tells you about your future. Yep. Or at least let you commune with the rest of the hive of symbiotes, yeah. um, which null. Yeah. And null is. Do you want to tackle who null is? Null is probably one of the happiest uh, go lucky <laughs> characters in the Marvel universe. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so null, uh, he was originally thought of as a symbiote god. Yeah. But that's because people thought the symbiotes worshipped him. In reality, no. Null is the god of the void. Yes. So, like, the void of non-existence before our universe began. Mm -hmm. He ruled it. Yeah. He loved it. Uh, and then... Darn dirty life started cropping up yeah. all over his void abyss, uh, you know, the emptiness. Yeah. So what do you do? You go and you kill all that stuff. Eventually, the symbiotes got sick of that. And the symbiotes were created by Null for yeah. purposes of killing life. Yeah. Which kind of takes us to Silver Surfer Black, where the first time Null is busted out of his prison... Mm-hmm. This planet that everybody thought was the planet of the symbiotes really is just a planet-sized ball of symbiotes holding Null down. It's a cage. Yeah. It's a cage. Yeah. Billions of symbiotes to keep this one guy in. Yeah. But Cletus wants to make friends and meet him. Oh, oh, oh. That can't go Wait, wrong. did you say and eat them or? Sure. Okay. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> as we have this set up um, where we, we understand what Null is. We understand what Cletus is doing. Mm -hmm. He's seeking out anyone that's ever had a symbiote, and he's trying to withdraw it yeah, all. Because there's so, that little bit left in their spine. A little bit. The symbiotes all had like a hive mind, mm -hmm. but things have happened where it's been disconnected. But the belief is that if you bring together enough of the codex, mm -hmm. that the hive mind will reignite, and Cletus will be in charge of it. Once again, um, what can go wrong? Bad. A whole lot of bad. Um, all right. So we start our, and find ourselves in New York City. Mm -hmm. Eddie is on the run. He's walking with his, his, his brother, brother son. kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other yeah. way to put it yeah. than that. Um, and they're trying to figure out, you know, where they can go, you know, because yeah. things, are, things are bad. Um, but they don't realize how bad it yeah. is until they get to Times Square and boom, bright lights all yeah. over everywhere. Eddie Brock is wanted for murder. He killed people. Yeah. Oh, but wait, did he? Right? Apparently, uh, Carnage... Yep. Has the ability to mimic people's faces. Yeah. Things just got a little bit more horrific yeah. when, when you think about it. Like, like how ugh. deep does this go? Yeah. Like, how far can he go with this one? So, Carnage pretended to be Eddie Brock, killed someone. Now everyone's thinking that Eddie is guilty. And yeah. so now Eddie has to go on the run. Um, clearly, though, he can feel yeah. there's someone after them. Guy, shadowy figure, yeah. and a hat chasing them. Which is so... Oh. The kinetics of this are fantastic. Like, I love the, the way it moves. Um, they run down into the subway. They're trying to hide. 
But there's a guy. Yeah, it's, that's the thing. I kept looking in the background like, who's chasing him? He was there the whole time. Yeah. The Which makes you wonder, was he, did he know? Of course he did. Oh. Like, I think the dude in the hat was just a random dude in the hat. Yeah. But somehow he, he was calling to him, drew him in, something. And reading the paper yeah. is Cletus Cassidy. Oh. And he pushes Eddie and son onto the tracks yeah. with a train coming. I, the, the person, there's a person that's jumping to try to save him. Yes, because there is a person. Yeah in a hat that's been chasing after them. It's not a person. It's Venom, the symbiote. Watching after his dude. They had that rough breakup. They had that rough patch. But he, that's true love right Couldn't there. Couldn't let go. He never let go. Couldn't let go. Um, the symbiote covers over Eddie <clears throat> in a quick attempt to try to save him from this oncoming train. And save him, it does, but in like this crazy, big, explosive yeah. scrunch of the train, like, like, like where his teeth get all jacked up to, like mean, he gets hit because he's like because he's not actually attached. Yeah. So this is like pure symbiote uh, goodness. Um, yeah, this is this is crazy. Um, third rail, be damned. Like this is crazy. Um, it gets on him, and of course the you know brother son is like Eddie, are you? And he's like, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, this is that's thing is you look up and like your brother is now Venom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, what the heck is going on? It's, it's super creepy. What I think is interesting is, like, with this iteration, we are not seeing the Venom eyes in the same way. Yeah. They're, not, they're not drawn in a way to be scary. Yeah. It's just what his face looks like. And yeah. I think there's a very interesting thought process with that. Um, of course, the cops show up. Yeah, because they, they know Venom Eddie now, Brock, right? Venom like, killed a whole bunch of people. Boom. Uh, and of course he's like, look, no, we didn't do anything wrong. And they're like, uh, look at the train. Look at the train. Train what, is dead now. Like you killed the train. Point. It is a good point. But he's like, look, I didn't, I didn't do that. Well, we kind of did. Dang it. Um, all of a sudden he starts feeling something. Like yeah. the, his other is like, uh, dude, Eddie, dude, need you to go. Dude. Things are bad. Things are bad. All of a sudden, I, who, like, what even is this? So. Carnage appears yeah. wearing Grendel, which is the dragon symbiote yeah. that Eddie had to fight. A dragon symbiote? Yeah. Why does Null hate you? Like, it, why yeah. does Null create such a thing? It, like, That's so messed up. Yeah. But, like, this thing? Yeah, this iteration of Carnage is amazing. Like, it was... It, it, it's it's nasty. Because it's like... The torso, yeah, and then right below the rib cage, Ugh. everything else is gone except for the spine leading into the pelvis, and you can see the, the top of the pelvis. So it's like that entire it's so gross. Oh, that's so gross. Did did Stegman come up with this? I don't know. Kate's come up with it. Either one needs to seek psychiatric help immediately, like for real. Because ugh. Um, okay, so looking at it, they're like, okay, what are we gonna do? Uh, the symbiote is like, look, we can try to fight it, but it's not gonna go well. I don't, I don't have the strength to fight this thing. And, you know, Eddie's trying to, like, send the kid on, like, you know, run away, get some help, get out of here, we'll handle this. Yeah. And Eddie still thinks it's carnage. Like, right. in, the, in the traditional like, sense of carnage. He's, he's trying. But carnage flat out says, we're a god now. Yeah. That is, that is none of that's happening. Uh, Eddie gets his butt kicked. Yes. I mean, almost loses an eye. Yeah. Like, the orbital bone is broken. Yeah. You know how hard you got to get hit to do that? Like, when you're inside a symbiote. Right. That is supposed to protect you. Yeah. Like, he slapped the symbiote out of him. Um, so, Eddie, I mean, in a gambit, yeah. it was a huge gambit. It could have gone very, very bad. Yes. Uh, Eddie grabs the third rail. Yeah. What a move. Yeah. Um, because apparently, electricity is the key to stopping this particular piece. Um, and it man, jacks up everybody. Ah, oh, because well, here's the, the messed up part, too. Okay. So, as we see, as we see Carnage, right? And there's, like, that area where there's no, none of, like, the, your guts or anything. Yeah. Um, but everything is still covered in the symbiote. Yeah. As the electricity is ripping through both, all four of them, or three, depending on how you want to count it. I'm going to say four. I'm going to say four. Yeah. symbiote lives matter. That's where we see that Cletus Casty, although he has been resurrected, is still a skeleton. Yeah. So, like... It's very, like, the mummy. It, yeah. Like, it's... Dude is not fully grown yet. Uh, it looks bad. Um, 
the symbiote for Venom symbiote pulls itself together pretty quickly and is able to rally, you know, Eddie yeah. to his feet so that they can try to make their escape. Um, while again, the Carnage symbiote is reforming and laughing. And laughing. <gasps> That's creeptastic. Okay, this page, I was like, this is the coolest symbiote of all time. Yeah. Uh, the kid is trying to, you know, talk to Eddie and say, hey, look, you haven't said anything since we've left. Are you okay? The symbiote responds, Eddie Brock is, is asleep. Yeah. I've put him in a coma while he heals. <laughs> like, I'm in control right yeah. now. So, like, this kid has been walking with, like, a possessed, yeah. you know, father, brother, like, this whole time and didn't know it. And it's, it's like, he's an autopilot. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, he's cool as a cucumber dough about it. Like, oh, okay, alien piloting my brother. Right. Like, all right, that's what we're doing. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Um, and the symbiote, I mean, okay, can we, can we just be clear here? The fact of where the symbiote takes him, if that's not a, st a statement of the stakes yeah. here, it's everything. There's yeah. a knock on the door, apartment 616. Ha, 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 get it. Yeah. Uh, a guy opens up the door, sees that, you know, it's Eddie and a kid. Yeah. And, of course, thinks that you're clearly trying to sell some, you know, Little League chocolate something, yeah. Scout cookie thing. And then no. realizes who is at the door. Yeah. Because, dang. Right. And immediately calls for his roomie. Yeah. Parker. This, this picture is just so cool. It is like, so cool, man. Like, it should be a poster. It, oh, man. Like, it really, like, it's, it's as iconic as Peter's reveal mm -hmm. in Civil War. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm calling this one. Uh, it's Peter. He's literally slipping on the Spider-Man suit. Um, like, wait, what? what? What do you mean for me? What are you talking about? <laughs> the, oh, God. The good son. Or the godson. Godson. <laughs> the godson. Yeah. Um, oh. Notice how it's getting bloodier yeah. as it goes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, okay. <laughs> in the most perfect Spider-Man showcase of all time, this is Peter, fully in costume. <laughs> the ice winning, too. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Um, describing how much he hates symbiote stuff. Yeah. Air, uh, you know, yeah. doesn't have the greatest history with it. Yeah. Um, of course, Eddie is all like, dude, stop, stop making jokes. And he's like, well, it's what I do. Yeah. And how else do I deal with this situation? Like, this is bad. Yeah. What else am I supposed to do but make jokes about it? Yeah. Like, Venom and, I, Venom and I never get along. Right. Things always end badly. Last time Carnage was involved, it was with Green Goblin, and that <clears> was a nightmare. <throat> Horrid. Now Horrid. you're telling me Cletus Casti is back from the dead, riding a Carnage symbiote along with the Grendel Dragon symbiote? This is all the bad. Like, let, there's nothing about this that is good. Let me make a joke. And by the way, who's that kid? Right. And, of course, Eddie's like, don't worry about the kid. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You're Eddie Brock. Who is this kid? Yeah. Where did the kid come from? Did you eat his parents? What is this? Yeah. So, <laughs> what I love is that the kid is still like, no, Spider-Man's a menace. And I'm yeah. like, you read too much, kid. <laughs> and is he reading a Guardians of the Galaxy comic? Um, yeah, he is, actually. That makes it even funnier. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. At least he's in continuity. Yeah, I like that. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, he's like, you know, what's up with you and this kid? I, I really need to know. Yeah. So Eddie, of course, in this great way, he's maintained only calling him Spider-Man yeah. in front of the kid. Yeah. And at first I was like, well, why is he doing this? Like, obviously he's maintaining a sense of anonymity, yeah. even though he doesn't have to. Yeah. Uh, cause there's even a reference where earlier Spider-Man's like, well, it's a good thing Peter Parker called me. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, clearly, because of the Venom symbiote, yeah. Eddie Brock knows who Peter Parker is. Yeah. And he tells him, he's like, look, he's my kid, Pete. What? 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 Um, so, of course, he's like, does he know that he's yours? And he's like, what? Do you, what? And he's like, he keeps calling you Eddie and not, like, Dad. Yeah. So... Eddie's not, I, Eddie's not wrong in his thought process. Right, right. Like, kid doesn't know. Right. And Eddie's afraid because of everything that is involved with Eddie's life, that puts that kid immediately in danger. Right. Which conceptually makes a lot of sense. It really does. The problem is the kid's with him. Yes. It'd be one thing if the kid was absent of any knowledge yeah. of Eddie Brock's existence, but he's literally running around with his dad and doesn't know yeah. him. Yeah. Um, and I thought this moment was really poignant where Peter's like, Oh Listen, my gosh, yeah. Those two panels? Dude. Peter is the one that's like, look, growing up without your dad, without knowing who your dad is, that's murder, man. 
the, and the way that Stegman drew Spidey's eyes. He looks like he's crying, man. Yeah. Like, he looks like he's oh, crying in the mask. Dude. Um, it's so bad. Uh, Eddie kind of checks out, though, in the conversation because something glaringly yeah. interesting shows up on the news. Um, this is it's bad. Grotesque. Yeah. Um, they find a nest of bodies, and they describe it as a nest. Yeah. Um, clearly put together in a way that is meant to be found. Yeah. Um, and unbeknownst to all of them, um, yeah. it's that their spines have been removed mm -hmm. for the purpose of finding that last bit of symbiote that yeah. might exist. To so the police and the newspaper people, people, though, they're just like, oh, it's a bunch of dead bodies. How horrible is this? Right. Oh, that's bad. Some have been dead for months, days, years, whatever. It's weird. So weird. Immediately, based on the people that have been yeah. identified, Eddie, um, Eddie realizes these are all symbiote wearers. Mm, mm. A message has been sent. Mm -hmm. um, some two, <laughs> the worker is like, hey, this might be a little grotesque. Right. We don't want to run this during a lunch hour. Let's but change the channel. We're in a restaurant. It's not like that. It's not a good ambiance. Yeah. Not at all. Eddie takes very you know, deep umbrage mm -hmm. to the fact that he wants to change the channel. Yeah. Almost goes like a little venom on him. Yeah. Which... I love that they don't realize that it's really Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they think it's just a random dude in a Spider-Man costume. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, Comic-Con's not until October. Duh. Duh. Which I was like, ah, that's New York Comic-Con. Yeah. I get it. That's funny. Um, so, yeah, Eddie's like, look, this is, this is bad. This is clearly yeah. a message. He's saying that even if you're dead, you're still I'm not. still going to get you. Yeah, like, this is, this is what it is. Um, ugh, Annie's body's in there. Yeah. Who is Annie? Is that his, his wife? The kid's, the kid's mom? Yeah. Yeah. Kid yeah. knows nothing. God, that's bad. Um, oh. And then, of course, like, in the best way possible, yeah. um, the right break comes through as they're talking, and all of a sudden, Pete's spidey sense starts going off when <laughs> a pair of jokers <laughs> decide that they're going to rob this place. The one dude just, when he sees Spider-Man, he's just like, ah. Oh. God bless it. And what I love is, like, they, they have a moment. It's like, coin yeah. flip. Like, what you, you want to take this one? You want me to take this one? And, of course, Eddie's like, you know, I'm trying to lay low here. Yeah. You got this. You got you, it. You handle it. Spider-Man. Not a problem. Um, and, of course, Pete, being true to his word, yep. takes them down without making a single joke. Mm -hmm. that, that takes effort. That's pretty good. Uh, in fact, he carries on a whole conversation with Eddie. Yeah. Not, you know, joking with these guys. But he's like, look, um, here's the situation. Uh, anyone that's worn a symbiote is a, is a target. Uh, we've got a huge list. We need to get started yeah. on finding any and all of these people. Um, and we need to find a way to extract yeah. this codex piece from people without killing them. Yeah, but who, who can do that? Reed Richards is smart enough, but there's not enough time. Yeah, we need like a month yeah. of lead time, and we don't have that. Right. Eddie's like, I know a guy. There's a different Reed Richards. Ah, oh, the maker. Yeah. Survivor of the Ultimate Universe's mm -hmm. destruction. Um, he is a twisted version of Reed. A yes. young one. Mm -hmm. He's young in body, but is like thousands of years old. Yeah. Bad, okay? Yeah, this like, is bottom not... line bad. That's, that's the only way you can describe yeah, it. Yeah, it was such a weird character. Like, I, I keep wondering, like, shouldn't he be under constant surveillance? By All him? the time. Like somebody? Yeah. Um, I do find it interesting that his headgear... Uh, Hickman seems to be using for Professor X yeah. in this new House of X stuff, so I wonder if that's if that's a thing. Makes you wonder. I don't know. Um, but funny enough, the maker has built such a device yeah. mm, about a month ago. Yeah. I was just randomly planning on doing some things. Like, what if I could collect the sliver of little symbiotes out of people's spines? Yeah. I need to do that. And he's like, why? Why? Like, how would you even know about this? He's yeah. like, well, I was going to use it on Flash Thompson, but you got symbiote back. Meh. Whatever. Right. Don't even worry about it. Um, which clearly means the, the maker thinks ahead. Mm -hmm. Like, he is a guy that you want somewhat on your team. Yeah. Somewhat. Um, so there's a number of guys that show up here. There's a young man um, who Spider-Man says uh, is my godson. And it is young Normie Osborne. Yeah. Norman Osborne's grandson. Yeah. Harry Osborne's son. Yeah. And for, if you hadn't been reading, reading Amazing Spider-Man during the Red Goblin story arc... A, you missed out. Yeah, you did. B, little Normie has a little bit of the symbiote in him. Because Red Goblin, oh, that was so cool. Like, that was so dope. God, 
is he a sleeper agent right now in a he, way? He like has at to some be. Point Carnage could just be like, Ta -da. turn on and it's zhut, and it's on him um, because it's it's in him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Little Normie was made into like a little goblin, yeah. and he was a terror. Like he really was. Yeah. Um, so the plan, of course, is to potentially try to use this on him. Mm -hmm. um, the maker goes about it in the wrong way. Hey, I got to draw some blood from you, kid. His bedside manner. Leaves. Doesn't exist. <laughs> Come on, you don't even have to yeah. like. Don't sugarcoat yeah. that. Um, Cause that needle's big. Yeah, it's a huge That's needle. Like a knitting needle. That's like a, right. Like, like a you're gonna crochet hole. like a whole Afghan. It's gonna be great. Um, but please don't draw blood with it, cause it's it, never gonna stop it, leaking it, out yeah, of my body. Be <laughs> <laughs> moist, 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 moist. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so of course Spider-Man's like, wait, time out, time out. <laughs> Tech. Um, no, not. On him, like yeah, we're not gonna. He's a kid. Yeah, like we're not gonna test this thing to see yeah. if it works on him. Like yeah. that's not gonna happen. And so of course, you know, the maker's like, well, I mean, if you had like Cleus Cassidy, that would be great. But mm, you don't. Yeah. So where could we, where could we get anything that's going to be on that level? And then Eddie and Spidey's eyes lock. They know. Oh, long red, dark chapter three, even more red. Who could they possibly be going to see in prison? Ravencroft. Institute for the Criminally Insane. <sighs> Again, going back to that amazing Spider-Man run, Dan Slott's ending, uh, the Red Goblin. Yeah. Norman Osborn, totally off his rocker. Yeah. Getting the Carnage symbiote on him, becoming Red Goblin, causing mad terror. Yeah. For a lot of folks, but with a very interesting side effect, mm -hmm. Norman Osborn mentally is gone. He's not there. Yeah. He thinks, believes, acts, claims mm -hmm. that he is actually Cletus Cassidy. He yeah. has his memories, thought processes. The Carnage symbiote was so, like, much, so secure that yeah. that's exactly what happened. Um, the, a fun little, yeah. you know, nod. John Jameson is a guard here, uh, lets them in. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's a Werewolf by Night. Yeah. A um, little fun fact. You know, I love their little banter of, hey, yeah. You know, you're, you're Venom, you got a symbiote, I'd turn to a werewolf. We should compare notes sometime. That's pretty cool. We're monsters. Eh, now's not the time. Yeah. Like, not, not the time to bond right now. Yeah. I, I, I'm not feeling it. Because um, we're going to break Norman Osborn out of prison. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Yeah, no, not at all. Now, of course, they're like, okay, we've got to figure out how to do this because we don't just want him out. Yeah. You know, we got to have a plan. If we don't have a plan, he's going to run amok and people are going to die. Yeah. I don't want to die. You don't want to die. Yeah. Death isn't on the table. That's yeah, not let's, not, let's not do this. So all of a sudden, Pete's spider sense starts going madhouse nuts. Yeah. And they're like, well, look, you're next to Norman Osborn's cell. Of course that, it is. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's only, it only kicks in when I'm in immediate danger. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. God, this whole, this, this, this page is, is just bad. Just it's all kinds of the bad. Is it? So teeth or, or, or worms made out of teeth it's, it's something uh, man it's all it's it's a lot of no it is a lot of no um an alarm starts going off right like loud blaring so it disrupts venom yeah um john starts freaking out yeah. because he's been infected yeah when by whom hard to say yeah but he's been infected and he is going wild yeah. and at risk of turning into a werewolf right now yeah. and eating them like which is bad. Yeah. And he just wants to open up the doors and let Norman out. Which they don't want. That's, that's not a, a good. That's, a, that's, not, not that's good. a no, no, no. We see Cletus Cassidy walking down the hall where, I mean, this is pure Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Lots of cells, people reaching out, trying to, you know, they're reacting yeah. to him. Oh. His chest opens up and yeah. he's got these. They're maggots. Yeah. Like they're, oh, that's the best way to call it. Symbiote maggots. Yeah, because his body still hasn't fully reconstituted, kind of like the mummy. Uh, and just grabs these carnage oats uh, and yeah. starts flicking them yeah. at the prisoners. And as it gets on the prisoners, the things embed into them and they become symbiotes themselves. Yeah. Oh, but then his mouth is he like, still oh, got him in his face. Oh, like it's all kinds of gross. That's so um, Stegman. Oh. Yeah, dude. Like that's that's bad. Um, struggling with the sound still. Yeah. Uh, Venom does what he can. Grabs the you know gun. Shoots the uh, sirens that are blaring. Buys so it kind of. Oh God, we needed that. Um, <sighs> Pete manages to yeah. web up John, which is great. But then there's like. 
like his own sort of you know yeah. spidey sense. Venom feels that the other symbiote is coming, yeah. and they can hear something, and they're like, "Oh, it sounds like locust, but it's yeah. not locust." Yeah, it's oh, <laughs> this splash page is also Teeth. horrific because it's all those prisoners that are now carnageized. Yes, but they've got m- like extra ultra arms. limbs. Like this is this is all oh. bad. They're like. Carnage dogs. Yeah, that null spiral instead of eyes. Yes, and Carnage is just there laughing, so excited for the hell that he's about to unleash. Um, they're coming. Yeah. Like, there's no two ways about it. Um, and I thought this was going to be that, like, that massive cliffhanger or triumphant battle scene. They're going to, like, hold them right? off. And we'll get to where I was wrong shortly. Yes, we will. Um, this ends with one of the greatest statements from Spidey ever. Where's the sentry when you need him? Right. Famously ripped Carnage in half. Brilliant. Um, they start going for it. Yeah. I mean, it's a fight Yeah. like none other. Um, and, of course, you know, Carnage is like, wait, this is why I like this. Or Venom says, yeah. like, this is why I like this. Yeah. This is what this makes me feel like. Like, I'm capable. Like, I can do and anything. The, and the eyes change. Yes. Like, that's the thing, too. Yes. Is, is you can see it, like, symbolically. The eyes have completely changed that classic Venom. Yes killing machine. He is back. But Pete, good old Peter, is like, dude, these are innocent people. Do not kill them. To which Venom is like, when you say innocent, question, they were behind bars, put there by a jury of their peers, found convicted of crimes, not innocent at all. So maybe we get get with the killy killy? Of course, Peter's like, no. Nope, nope. Carnage is in control. It's not their fault. Be nice. Let's find some electricity so we can get rid of this yeah. guy. So the plan's actually pretty good. Like, we'll really get some is. water going. We'll get a power line. Boom. Jack it, jack it, jack it. Take him. Oh, and there's what the freaky skeletal spine carnage showing yeah, up. man. Ugh. Look at that rib cage. Like, that's yeah. in there, man. It's up in it's there. like all, like, rib cage up. Ugh. It's all like, so You kind of want to feel in there and just like, it, Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, does it's he bad. keep spare keys in there? Ugh. Like, he just, oh. Coin purse, um, <laughs> prison purse. I don't. Okay, so he grabs he grabs Spider Man, and I mean it's bad. It's he's not he's good. getting ready to seemingly eat his face, but no, he's got a better use for Peter. Yeah, Peter is the door opener. Yeah. He uh, chucks him hard into Norman's cell door, and pops that bad boy open. And this is another like there's so many like hammer dropping splash pages in full. So amazing because. Joker is a terrifying person. Right. Osborne at this point? Way worse. Way worse. And the amount of red on him, is that blood? I think it's blood. I think he's just been in there, like, cutting himself. That's terrifying. And That uh, is a Cletus Cassidy thing to do, for sure. Um, and, you know, Peter is, of course, trying to take him out, but, like, knock him out, not yeah. take him out. Yeah. Venom's like, we don't have time for this. Yeah. Put him down. Right now, boot to face. Venom does what he can by trying to uh, hold the door. Yeah. Tells Pete, like, look, get us out of here. Yeah. And right and now. Pete's thinking, like, this is a cell, three feet thick walls, we're trapped. And, and, and Venom's like, stop thinking. Just, right. You, how, how strong are you? Right. Like, just go, okay? Put a dent in the wall. And such a cool thing. Pete webs up his yeah. fists and is like, this is going to hurt, but he's, he's going for it. Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. And before he can make enough of a dent, the door flings open. And And Venom is thrown over. They can't do anything about it. Carnage grabs up Norman. And Pete can only think, please don't kill him. Yeah. Don't kill him. And I was thinking the same thing. And that's where it should have been like, oh, please, kill him. Because instead... He refers to him as a little carnage prince and fully carnageizes the Red Goblin again. This is bad. So you got Red Goblin yeah. and Carnage. And then all the other like, doggies. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they're getting how, out of yeah, this. Yeah, I don't know how they're... Because like, this, is, this is all the bad. Yeah, because Parker barely could handle Red Goblin. Right. Like he we, needed help. Like yeah. He actually had to wear the symbiote himself yeah. in order to, to get this. Um, I love this uh, little Ravencroft yeah. little behavioral assessment. 
Also written in red. Yeah. Um, bad. All the bad. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how how they're gonna survive. I don't either, man. Um, absolute carnage number one. Highly entertaining. Yeah, intense. Um, don't get it if you're allergic to the color red. Yeah, um, I will not, not be a fan. Uh, it's it's so over the top. It's it's <laughs> excuse it, me. It's great for symbiote fans. It's great for Carnage fans. Great for Venom fans. Yeah. Spider Man too. The way that that he's a part of it. Because I didn't know if they were gonna how how tightly they were gonna fix him in. But it looks like it's gonna be. Yeah. Some of those. There's a lot of splash and like fold out stuff. Yeah. Hit up your local shop. Uh, yeah, man. If you're if you're thinking about crazy. it, crazy. Hit up your local shop uh, because. It has already been final order cut off through the first two issues, so make sure your shop knows you want it because we're get having it, to order it, get order it. soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does carry a hefty price tag, seven ninety nine. Yeah, but you are getting a lot of book for it. Yeah, like literally, that's some good reading. So, um, wow. Yeah, absolute carnage number one. Yeah, nice one. You gotta like that one. And. Uh, we thank you guys, as always, uh, for being our Patreon members. You guys are the bestest in the entire world. Uh, thank you for supporting the best comic book review uh, show in the entire interwebs, because that's what we are. I think so. No, 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 it's true. It's true. Oh, yeah. it's true. Yeah, yeah. Write it on the internet. Right. <laughs>